Do you think that an SA is required to, to be a developer, to have a developer background or to know how to code? Absolutely not. We have, you know, a large number of SAs have zero programming experience. Now, that's not to say that it's not an advantage to have it, right? Uh, and, and depending on what segment you're in, it is more important in some segments than it is in others, right? So the ISV or the independent software vendors or, or digital native uh, business, which is the department that, that we're in, um, the people that we speak to are primarily developers. Like when we talk to the CEO of a company, they could be the founder and lead developer, at least at one point in time yep. for that company's software. Uh, so, you know, from, um, from an ISV, perspective, I would say that, you know, having software background definitely uh, helps. But that's not the only conversation we have with customers, right? When we talk about architecture, um, you know, it goes, you know, everything from the infrastructure to the uh, high availability and redundancy, um, the latency that is, that is required that has, you know, often nothing to do with, with how you program something and a lot to do with how you deploy the building blocks or services to make sure those needs are met. Uh, and so there's, um, it, it is not a, let's get down, let's look at source code and help troubleshoot and debug, you know, this Lambda function that you wrote. Like that's um, super low level. And we typically don't get into that level of, of detail. Number one, that as solution architects, um, and secondly, the other thing, which is important is that we don't put our hands on the keyboard for a customer. So we never log into a customer's AWS account and start changing their configuration or launch cloud formation, uh, templates for them. That is, uh, outside the scope of a solution architect for that. We lean heavily on our pro serve or our partners, uh, that we uh, work with in order to get those production deployments out there. That's not to say that we won't build a proof of concept to help the customer understand how services work, right? Um, but we won't log into their account or, ha or even have access to their AWS accounts to do that. Uh, because, you know, that is, uh, this is where, you know, kind of that, that line is drawn between an SA role um, and what the customer or partner or pro serve um, with a statement of work would be doing on behalf of that customer.